Yo, what is up guys, it's Logic. Today I'm going to be showing you a Photoshop alternative online. You can use a Chromebook, probably a phone, but you can also use this on PC if you don't actually want to pay for Photoshop. Um, so here, this is called photop.com. Right now I just have up their demo picture, just to point out anything and everything that they have. So right here it says, Photop gives you advanced image editing tools support for popular formats as in PSD, XCF, which is GIMP, or JPG, which is PNG, or JPG, PNG, GIF, uh, BMP, and WebP. And it has a familiar GUI, the same as Adobe Photoshop. So on this right side, you can see the layers and the history, just like Photoshop would have. It has every single button that Photoshop has. It has the hue, New layers, re uh, mass, rastifying, uh, new layers, delete layers, link layers. Um, it also has the blending op options that Photoshop would have. So, bevel and emboss, contour, texture, stroke, inner shadow, inner glow, satin, satin uh, color overlay, gradient overlay, pattern overlay, uh, outer glow, and Drop shadow. I think it's pronounced satin. Alright. Um, you can also click this little eye on the left side, which either gets rid of it so you can't see it or shows it. So that's the same as Photoshop. The folders are the same. The filters are also the same. You have the blurs, the noise, the pixelate, the render, the clouds, sharpen, stylize and other as high pass, maximum, minimum, and offset. The file in file, you can uh, create a new PSD. You can open from your computer. You can open from the URL. You can take a picture, publish online to Inger, um, save as PSG, or export as all of these, and export assets and script it. In the edit tab, you have everything the same as Photoshop, same as free transform, uh, transform, stroke, fill, clear, paste. Um, in the image tab, you can adjust the image with all of these filters or all of these adjustments. You can change the canvas size, you can change the image size, and you can transform it. In the layer tab, you have a bunch of different layer um, options here. That you could probably look through yourself, I just don't really feel like reading everything. There's a lot. In the select tab, there's all you can select all, you can select the color range, and you can modify. Filter one over those. View has the same thing as um, you can put a grid on just like Photoshop. Take it off. Um, you could put a ruler on, which is the same. Take it off. In the window, you have your history. Layers, Info, Properties, CSS, Brush, Character, Paragraph, Layer Comps. Sorry, that was my phone. Um, you can change the language of anything. You can change the theme, which I think is really cool. You can change the silver. Iron blue. Snow white. And Danish purple. But I'm gonna keep mine on black just so it looks more like for I mean more like uh, Photoshop. On the left side, you have all of your um, utensils or all of your options. You could add text. You can add text. See. Change the size. I'm gonna turn up so you can see it better. There. And they have a bunch of different um, preset uh, fonts that are actually not that bad. Some of these fonts aren't exactly terrible. And you could use them if you want. Let me use this one right here. Let me just put in my name. And I'm actually gonna get rid of this layer here. And yeah, that's that's basically the video. Thank you guys for watching. It's been Logic. Peace. Go.